Hello and welcome to the sightings and today in the sightings <gasps> new thingy yes we have another new narrow gauge route the Rio Grande Southern <laughs> or the the silly railroad as we call it here is our map and we start in Rico I'm trying to find where it is it's the timber spur I don't want timber spur there's coke ovens I don't want coke ovens I can't find the the uh, the place that's Trout Lake. I don't want Trout Lake. Is this that's Matterhorn? Dope. No. Where is it? No. I'm trying to find the place. That's Talud. I don't want Talud. I can't find the place I want. What place am I looking for? Lizard Head. Then I could go and cry. Oh, here we go. Here's Lizard Head. So, yes, this is the place. Where everything got stuck. <clears throat> and train had to come from Rico. Uh, I will try to link this. I know I've been bad about it. But I will try to link the three quarters of an idiot thing about Lizard Head. So coming back here. We're in Rico. And this is the Rico Coal Tower. <clears throat> Which, honest to God, I would love to have this in uh, Railroads Online. Uh, speaking of narrow gauge, uh, yeah, Railroads Online, narrow gauge. This, please. Which that would track like, right here. Yes, please. Also, I have cats underneath me. But we're going to look at what all comes in this pack. So first off, we get the K-27 with a plow. With a K-27 without a plow. We don't get RGS number 20, sadly, or any of her sisters. <clears throat> there. But we do get something really nice. Tenders. So we get the Denver and Rio Grande Western. Before they standard gauged. And, um... They converted all of their engines from standard gauge to narrow gauge back to standard gauge. I'm saying this just to piss ice off. We get the speed lettering. And then we get the Rio Grande Southern Tender. And then here's our little baby cabooses. Now this design of caboose may seem very unique to, maybe seem familiar to people. Yeah, you're looking at the caboose d design, the one with the light on top. That design of Caboose is in uh, Railroads Online. Yay! Oh, but that's not all. We now get the flatbed. We get a flatbed with logs. I'd love to do this in Railroads Online, but... Flatbed with lumber. Mmm, that's nice looking. I would complain more about that, I'd do more of, I'd like to see this in RRO, but no thank you. We now get a tank car. Now you may be wondering why they're down. It's loaded and empty. A Rio Grande box cars, which are empty and loaded. Then we get our gondolas. 
These I'd love to see too, but love to see. I'd love to see more of these guys in our even in Robo, even in a TSC. I'd love to see more narrow gauge. Uh, I'd love to see the old uh, NCO line, the old narrow crooked and ornery. I jinxed it. I jinxed it just so well. But these guys carry coal. I think the mines might have carried silver ore and whatnot. Then we get the cattle car empty. Cattle car with um, goats. Either goats or deer. I can never tell which. Empty. Uh, look like jackasses. Either jackasses or horses. I can't tell. Looks like a horse. Hmm. There's one other car I'm looking for, but I can't find it. Oh, here. We even get a nice, good old bogeyed Denver and Rio Grande Western caboose. Oh, wait. It's right there. Oh, I found a level of detail glitch, boys. As you move the camera in certain ways, look at that. The 403 has just vanished. Like, it's uh, it's wearing some kind of cloak of invisibility or something that you would see in a, a game, uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Odd. So now we're going to take a K27 up the line. Please note we can't take a K37. Nice whistle. I'd even love to see the Deadwood Central in TS. I know, I know, I ask too much. So we're knuckled in. Oh, yes, please. I like the little cupola of you. I really do. I think this is the nicest modeled interior for a narrow gauge caboose in this game. Look at the cab. Okay, it looks, looks fairly decent, believe it or not. Yeah, this is a G-Trax uh, thingy, I believe. And it looks fairly decent. I've had problems with other G-Trax products in the past where they look like, you know, somebody was just putting them out because, you know, the guy wanted to make a fat stack. I 
think we're gonna go as far as coke oven sightings. Was a close one. Uh, now, how are we gonna do this? <laughs> Let the pressure build, and then I'll see you at the end of this. So what are some DLCs I could see for this route? Uh, the goose? Yes, a galloping goose! Find a couple of flounder plows. Like, this is a whole pack I'm thinking of. So, the goose. Flounder plow. Um, RGS number 20. Um, 
Well, I say RGS number 20, but her and her sisters. Um... Passenger cars, even. Yeah, this route does not have passenger cars. Then again, I think they want you to use the, um... The Clear Creek passenger cars. So this is supposed to be sort of an interchangeable thingy. Okay. So I can't make it up the hill. Bollocks. Also, if you have the machine rails, um... Little porters. They'd be great here. Same thing with the Creek, uh, Clear Creek Logging Pack. Oh, shit. I really can't... I don't know what's going on. I'm... Not having... Why? Come on. Brakes aren't releasing fast enough. But then again, I suppose they want to try to make this as realistic as possible. So, yeah. We'll just have to see how this goes. God damn it. Are we going forward? Now we are. Had to throw down sand. Lots and lots of sand, boys. <clears throat> so, I want to try to get us to Coke ovens. All right, we're going now.
I have taken a quick cursory look at the route, and I will say this. I am impressed with this. I honestly believe that if you do like American Narrow Gauge, this and Clear Creek, plus the Clear Creek add-ons, plus the Machine Rail add-ons, you're going to be set. We have the Cookie Mogul, which would look great here. Just imagine one or two cookies. Yeah, cooks. Running joke in the, in almost every railway game I've played. But just imagine a cookie. You know, and the timber sidings. Or just imagine a cookie at the Winkfield spur. Yeah, just imagine a cookie. Like right here, Winkfield Spur. Where it's waiting with like one or two cars. The town of Winkfield. Then we have the town of Rico, where all of. Uh, according to the uh, three quarters of an idiot, five people live. And like I say, this is the only good thing about America. It's narrow gauge. Here's our loop at Burns. Uh, here's the water. There's the bridge. Yeah, you can hear the train before you see it. So let's continue on. I think we'll get to Burns. And then we'll just stop. Because I'm having a hard time keeping the brakes from, like, dumping themselves on. So yeah, that's that. In fact, I think I'm gonna have to just stop right here. So what are my what are my honest thoughts? Aside from my absolutely atrocious driving, um, I do recommend this. I will give you the reservation of, yes, you will have to have Clear Creek if you want to use the passenger terminals and blah 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 blah. But if you just want something to run like cookies and whatnot, porters. Perfect. If you want to, if you want to recreate Lizard Head, uh, G Track, you kind of left a few dozen things out. Oh no! Solid start. Solid. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to see you in the next review. I might play a couple of the scenarios from the two new routes that dropped. And then we're good to go. I'll see you in the next review. Bye.